These are the 7 random tips and tricks in Gangshin Impact you might not know. Welcome to the channel, Ors, where we talk about Gangshin Impact. The only game that matters. Well, among the trick, does required some progression in game. Do check it, whether could you did you know it or not. We all know, in Gangshin Impact, falling from a height, does hurt or kill your character. But have you wonder, there are moments where you land, you realized your character didn't lose any health. We are not talking about moments where sometimes the internet lags after you had fallen down, and then later, you see your character dies. This is specifically when you fall from a height and then no damage to your character. Thinking to yourself, something is buggy here. Well technically, it could be a bug or it could a trick. How do we do that? So basically what you need is to perform a dash from the high cliff and make sure you land certain parts of the tree branch and you will survive. Well this kinda makes sense, there are many tips in real life that said, if you are falling from the sky, the first place to look for the landing is not at the sea or a flat land, but at the trees. Hoping that when you going to land, the tree branches help to absorb the impact thus allowing you to survive from that fall. Of course, please don't ride this intentionally in real life. You can do it at Gangshin Impact. The chances of able to doing this trick is very challenging. It took me crazy amount of character death to perform this trick successfully. Best to just know it by heart, and if you notice you didn't die, it's probably because of the tree branches. The good part of this new updates is that they finally have included the archive section which tracks quite a lot of things about what you have done. Sometimes we could wondered what could be the most monster we had killed after playing for quite some time. Going to the Paimon button then to the archive in the menu, scroll to living beings at the monster section. There you can find all the monsters you have encountered before, and the number of kill monsters you have. Not only that, by clicking the magnifying glass at the top right. You can go to the artwork of the monster, and rotate it around to see the design of it. Is actually quite nice especially the wolf. Very detailed design. Here you can also find out what monsters have the highest number of kills, it seems for me, I had killed over 2000 electro chinchin which I don't really recalled. Well check it yourself, whether is Electro Chinchin your highest killed monster or not. Comment below what are your records. This game has many multiple layers of quests, and there are some character stories quests are locked where you are required to reach a certain adventure rank while having the key. Cool story quests like Zhongli or Ganyu, where you get to know deeper about them, what were their situation or the background itself. Like Ganyu, we know from the story that she was plum when she were young. Thinking about it is really cute, Plum and Horn's little girl. Well to navigate to the story quest section, click on the Paimon button followed by the quest button at the menu section, and then at the bottom left, click on the story quest. This is where you can unlock all those character story quest. As for how to get the key, it is through doing daily commission at the Adventurer Guild. There is a note on how to claim it, like for this, is to complete 8 daily commissions to get one key. There is a max limit on how many keys you can hold, at the top right. Gangshin Impact is considered one of the games with great sceneries. Where not only you can view them from the ground, you can also view them from the mountain top. One of the features they provide, is taking photo of that sceneries. You can even consider to include or exclude the characters, while taking the photo. Even making your characters doing poses to suit the sceneries. Well now in the updated version, not only character can do poses, you can even change facial expression of the character. You just need to click on this facial button to select those expressions. The catch is that, this is locked based on your friendship with them. All you need is, to reach to friendship level 4, to get the two new expressions, disappointment, and smiley. You can get friendship fast by doing daily commissions and resin activities. There are times, as we are gliding then suddenly we realized we had no more stamina, then later we are in free fall state. After that, it depends on your quick reflexes, whether you survive that free fall or not. Either dying from that or somehow manage to survive. Interestingly, there is this mechanism in the game, where you could be gliding while not losing stamina. Gliding on wind. As we progress the game and we come to know the origin of gliding from Venti story. It was because of strong wind, that the birds can fly. And throughout the game, there are wind boosters, mountain wind, structures or skills such as venti, that could generate the wind effect. And while you are gliding on these, you will notice your stamina doesn't reduce, but could regenerate back as well. Very handy if you manage to find it nearby your area. With this type of winds, around us, it will keep us gliding for longer periods of time. Like the story said, with strong winds, the birds who have courage can fly forever. 
interestingly enough, there is this one part of healing mechanics is quite similar to other games. One you might heard before, Dota 2. Where the healing potential for lower stats is better than higher stat. Allow me to explain in Gangshan terms. So basically, you could get more healing for any of your characters out of a healing ability such as Barbara's skill. Meaning, instead of just healing 4000 health, you could potentially heal up to 8000 heath. With this method, it could save your time from waiting for the skill cooldown to continue healing. What you need to do for the character you want to heal is, unequip all the artifacts and proceed to use the skills to heal your character. After completing the healing process, equip back the artifacts. What you will notice is that, the healing potential differences between equipped artifacts and unequipped artifacts is quite huge. And with this methods, any healing that is 3500, could be 5000. As for this tip, it only can work with PC, Window 10, which is the Window Xbox Game Bar feature. Sometimes when playing an open world game like this, where we constantly holding down the keyboard W button, we as players, do appreciate the auto walk feature like in Skyrim, where we click the keyboard button C, to toggle between auto or manual walk. Well, I found a way, to do the auto walk with another method. All you need is to hold the keyboard W button then hold the window button and click the G button. After that, click the escape button. This will allow your character to auto walk. Well while auto walking, you can jump, attack, skill, burst and even swapping characters. And to cancel this, all you need is to just click the direction key button, W A S or D. This quite useful for PC players like me who wants to see just see the sceneries without really holding the W button too long. And if you want to see more of our Gangshan Impact videos, consider watching at the suggested videos later. Well thanks for watching the video. Remember to hit the like, subscribe and notification button to see more of Gangshan Impact videos. And as always, enjoy Gangshan life wisely.